And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey. No. Hold on, before we get into that though, 50 Cent <laughs> yeah. comments on Biden's tax plan. He freaked right. out, didn't he? And yo, 50 everybody cent bugged out, right? Turn it to 20 cent. Yeah. And yo, they, they, they um they censored his um his post too. Oh word. Wow. About the oh plan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, about the yeah. They did because he was like, what was it, 62 percent in New York? Yeah. That was that was the tax bracket. Obviously, that's not just because of the federal. That's also because of our state that we right, live in. Right, 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 right. Which is yo, but did, did he publicly endorse Trump or was he just criticizing Biden's tax plan? Nah, he said I'm no. voting Trump. He said, he said he, these were his words. I'm voting for. He said I don't care how much Trump. He said I don't care how much Trump doesn't like black people. <laughs> I'm not paying sixty two percent. <laughs> Which was funny, but I thought it was foul too. Like, dude, right. you really to sell out your own? Like, right. you really to sell out no, your own people? Care. Just for you that saw, bread, huh? <laughs> yeah, you saw what he about to do to Nick Cannon, right? He talking about he, he gonna have Michael Blackson on now? Well, he said out wilding. He was gonna switch the whole name nah, of the show. I missed that. Wow. What was that about? Oh, because they can't. Because wilding, wilding out. out. Yeah. So okay, he was yeah. like, "Yo, I'm ready to." Yo, Mike, I'm signing the papers. We ready to start this out wilding. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, this dude don't care. He's a he savage. Care. He's, he's, a, he's a, a savage. Your man, I mean, your man. It makes sense. Got, don't got a relationship with Trump. Son, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it makes I don't sense think nobody matters. Trump. Nobody matters. <laughs> Not, nobody he killed matters. his son on power too, man. So you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Christian, brother. Not. <laughs> it's not. They, you're right. They got a new joint now, right? <laughs> so if you ain't seen Power by now, man, you know. Too bad. Yeah, but yeah, so I don't know. What was next? Yeah. Forget him. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but I think Jay was gonna talk about uh oh, because oh, yeah, we, we mentioned about Christians. Oh, the Christians oh, yeah. crazy uh, Trump. For Trump. Yo, ain't it crazy yeah, though? Like a real Christian. Yo, ain't it crazy how people are like, you know, vote your conscience, right? But the minute you're voting for somebody that's not Biden, they like ready to, to kill you, man. They're ready that's to anybody. You mean either or, my either or everybody says, um, uh, go out and vote, but then tell them who you voted for and see how they change. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even Christians are like, if you vote for Biden, like you're not hearing God's voice, right? Yeah, they they bugging. I don't know. You even, what's your man? That's a um, that's a big statement to say. Now, what's your man that just that's, said that? Yo, Marcus Rogers. Marcus, that's your Marcus man. Rogers. Marcus that's Rogers. your man. I like I like the man first, man. He was good. I don't know. He got lost somewhere. Dude, <laughs> he got <laughs> lost in the sauce. <laughs> I don't know, man. That, this trip, that trip, that trip down Damascus. I don't know what happened. Yo, the thing is, like, your man is always like, I had this dream. I got this revelation. It's like, bro, like. He got, he got a lot of them. Pull, pull out your Bible and I show me where it's confirmed in the word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> where does it say in the Hebrew text and the Greek text what you talking about, man? Because right now I'm, not, I'm not seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Like all so these revelations, right. all these dreams or whatever. Like I, this is a Reformation podcast now. Saying? Right. Reform Yo. talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, Reformation Day is coming up, you know? Yo, wait, wait, wait. Head out the less. <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah. yo, your man, I heard it was a whole COVID nineteen breakout in Johnny Max Church. A word? Oh, yeah, word? it was on the news word. last night. Yeah, nah. Well, you know, there's a bunch of old people there, so I wouldn't be surprised. But dang, wow. lucky. That's the, you. You missed. You, you dodged missed a that bullet. Sunday. Yeah, you I missed a few Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you guys you think that no you church on Sundays? Huh? <laughs> You, now that you guys are talking about COVID, I know it's not on the list, but um, you think this is the COVID situation hurting Trump, or you think everybody's like they they're more towards you know whatever Trump says? I don't about. think anybody. Cares. I don't think. I you know what you I think. Nobody cares now. I think those that support him are supporting him blindly at this point. Just like I think, yeah, those supporting Biden. It's they well, I, you know what people supporting Biden are Yo, not son, really hold supporting up. Biden. There's. They're Trump bashing. Yo, what? my man. What? They got three cases. 
Dude, I, I, I'm just saying. All I saw was a blur. He that said, said "I'll break." <laughs> that's what he said. That's exactly that's what he said. CNN talk. CNN that's talk. That's exactly what it said. I just googled that joint. That joint said three people had three cases, bro. Like, oh, people, okay. People, people and they got like died. thousands of people in that church. <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> yo. That's all it said. It, I'm telling you, it just it, it came up as a blurb. It said, um, who was the network? Yo, watch this dude. This dude, yo, we got for CNN. Uh, this dude went for CNN. We gotta start fact checking. <laughs> Chris Cuomo. Chris Cuomo paid me. Oh Cuomo. my God. Cuomo. <laughs> Chris Cuomo sent the bag. My bag. He said, oh, did you hear about the cluster and the outbreak that happened? <laughs> nah, I was, you know what it was? I was watching the football game. I was watching um the Seattle game and it came up across the bottom. It was NBC. Yeah. And it oh, came typical. across the bottom. So yeah, 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 yeah. that's why I was like, oh. My bad. Well, yeah, well, I man. Know. I didn't but, look into it. That's what happened. Yeah, we look. I put a post today, right? I put up a post. Uh, I I said something like to the wow. degree that you don't got as a vote. believer, you have liberty not to, to vote. vote. You know right. what I'm saying? They about to take and some people, on. some Uh-oh. people went in on my comments, and a lot of them weren't believers. That? Actually, how many subscribers but, you lose? Oh, yeah, no. you know, it was almost like, oh, somebody said, which was fair. Well, don't complain when the individual that wins doesn't do things for you, kind of thing. And I'm None like, of cool. them do. Right. I'm like, I'm like, cool, that's fair, but that's the reason why I'm kind of like not voting is because I have my complaints about both parties. So right. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with those complaints? Well, you know? But here's the thing, too. You're in New York, right? So if you vote for anybody who's not Biden. It don't count. Does it matter? You're blue. True. True. Or in Cali, right? Right. Which, which is like, which got the highest electoral college. Uh, right. You know why they got the highest point. electoral college? Why? All right. So the electoral college is, is determined by the census, right? And in the sense, and I know this because I used to knock on people's doors to do census, right? Mm. And in the census, right? The number of people determines how many people in your district have a representative, right? Right. Also, when you take the census, the census, you're not required to ask a person's legal status. So in California, um, we have people who uh, who who got brought not in here by legally. coyotes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not real coyotes. Who got brought in by coyotes, yo? Oh, say, hey, like you have this this big population of people, right? Who? who How does a coyote bring people in? I mean, isn't it uh, like a you never seen animal? Wally Wally coyote? Usually, they it's not a the real the, coyote. The, 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 the acne rockets. <laughs> right. Are you sure, sir? Like, These guys. Man, it's not a I'm real coyote. It has been a, what do you mean? But it's Jimmy. Just say coyote. <laughs> Yeah, that went over people's heads. Them. That went over people's heads. They were like, I can't yo, believe but, that's dumb. Yo, to be fair, like, how are people, people supposed to know about how illegal people get smoked Ooh. here if they're not around it? The same way. Come on. I ain't the same way. I ain't around a coyote. <laughs> Listen, a coyote is a human I got real smuggler. In the back, all right, guys. Though. A coyote is a human smuggler for right. all the listeners out there. It's not right. an actual coyote. They're moving, coyote. They moving people. They move, they, 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 uh, they know the back ways. Come on, yo! How people these are the same this? people. These are the same people that know about immigration reform and all everything. Get the, and they get them out the cages, right? Are you serious? Who <sighs> built the cages, Joe? Trump is dividing <laughs> families. <laughs> yo, Joe hit him back though with the five hundred, the five hundred kids dividing uh, families, Joe. Right? That that they don't have their. Wait, parents. what he say? What he uh, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that there's five hundred yeah. children that don't have. Their parents, they they've been separated. They're separated, yeah, and they haven't been able to find their parents ever since. But mm-hmm. that's when he said they came in with the coyotes. He said no, they were pulled from their parents. Yeah, he was like, yeah. no, they were pulled from their parents. No, they came here from with coyotes. And the people was like coyotes. But anyway, Peter on the line. It used to back be back to used, the topic. It used to, it used to be that um, I I don't know I don't know what it, what it's like now, but it used to be under Obama's administration that if a kid came with a parent specifically from um from Honduras, that they would both get temporary protective uh uh status so they could stay, right? Mm-hmm. Until they 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 worked it out. So I don't know if a lot a lot of them uh were traveling alone recently. I don't know if that law has changed, but for the most part. Like a lot of the the people that were coming here illegally, they would they would come with their kids. Like you know, I'm gonna bring my son or my daughter, or whatever. Like, 
And actually, I, I saw that too in um that Netflix special, that Ice. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's called Ice or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name. Yeah. Well, in that special, there's a guy who he said he left his 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 wife and his daughter, and he brought his son. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. he knew if he got across, he could stay, and then he could help them. You know, get papers to come over here. So, yo, I wonder if um, cause. I remember, I remember them saying that that was one of the reasons why they um they were saying that the the, the cartels were using kids. So probably assuming that they would, you know, come in with no problem by using other people's kids. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was the reason as to why. I mean, I don't know speculation if that was the reason why, you know, they cracked down on that. Maybe um, I don't you know. He tried I, to reverse everything Obama did anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, what? So why would you? Why would you send your eight year old with a complete stranger? Like, why wouldn't you just go with your eight year old? I mean, maybe question. they didn't have a choice if it was a cartel. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure those things are expensive, right? Like you pay I, to get over those. Yeah, yeah I think it's, I think it's, I think it's like depending on where you're coming from. I think it's somewhere between five to ten racks. That's yeah, a lot, that's yo, for a, lot a family that's already broke. Sure. You got to choose, like, yo, which kid is the smartest? Yeah, but you know what? Most people already have family here. You know what I'm That's saying? True, right. That doesn't guarantee that that person is going <laughs> to get you. Which one of you got potential? Yeah, <laughs> I ain't yeah, about yeah, to yeah. spend $10,000. Right, right. Yeah, like, who, who's Canelo here? <laughs> Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this dude, Ant, man. Because if you don't, Jeez. you got to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I heard of a family that uh, the husband and the wife, well, the husband came first, then he brought his wife right. and then left their son mm. and then brought the son by himself. You know, he was maybe like seven or eight years old. Wow. Brought him by by himself. Yeah. Over. Wow. So that's why. You know, yeah. So it's possible. I'm sure it happens. Yeah, yeah it does. Real. happen. I just me as a parent, like I wouldn't send my kid by himself. Like, no, nah, we're going together. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Okay. We're we, we going to make this trip together. Now we're going to um, be broke together home. Right. Yeah, that right. whole situation is, is sad. You know what I mean? It is. But I, I mean, yeah. I get it. You know, I understand. It's, it's like, sad on so many levels. It's, it's sad on so many levels because uh, the United States government interferes with the government of those countries and it destabilizes those countries, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm speaking specifically of Central America because my family is from El Salvador, right? And so the United States... Did a lot of stuff in El Salvador um, where they funded both sides of the war. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it, it ruined the economy. It ruined the country. Right. And so the only option, like people are so desperate. Right. That they're willing to take this risk to tr- to cross three yeah. borders to get to this country. Like you're so desperate that you're willing to leave the country that you were born in, that you grew mm-hmm. up in to go to another country where you don't know the language in hopes that to you struggle. can have a better life for yourself and your family, right? right like right. this is how bad things are. And then and then you make that trip over here. Um, you know, and then you know, whatever, whether it's the cartels, whether it's the United States government, um, you know, you, you do all like you do all that for a better life, man. You know what I'm saying? And and to and to me, that's that's wild, man, because I've never that bro, like I have a hard time. Deciding whether I want to move out of California. You know what I'm saying? Do I leave everything? You know, I was born mm-hmm. here. I've been living in you know, the West Coast all my life, but I don't like the politics here. I'd love to move to a freer state, maybe Arizona or Nevada or something like that. Actually, my wife and I just had a conversation about maybe Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and it scares me. Like I have, I have, I have like my what'd you say? I say I might as well come to Georgia. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Georgia. But I'm I'm saying like I have like I have these like anxiety about moving, you know what I'm saying? And I imagine to go to a whole completely different country, bro. Like you got to be that desperate, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That joint to me is yeah. wild. Right. I mean, you can hop on a plane and do your thing, and then these people got to go through how many countries, you know, to get out here? Uh, three. Some man. of them on foot, yo. My dad on did foot. that. My dad did that when he was 16. He came on foot. That's Sheesh. crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to get smuggled to Canada. Let's go. <laughs> Why you want to go there? I don't know. To want to get for out the, of the US for the property brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I could go chill with Drake or something. You trying to chill with Tory uh, Lanes and Justin Bieber? Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. But yeah, man. So Good luck. 
I, I was just, you know, my thing was like, listen, we have liberty as Christians and believers to not vote. That's right. that was just my whole thing. You know what I mean? We we say we always say that we're not under the law, right? The law of Moses. Mm -hmm. We're not under the Torah, right? Uh, Christ is the end of the law, right? And we say these things, and the the Torah, right? To me, is a spiritual law, right? That's what the Bible says. That's what um, uh, Apostle Paul says. It's a spiritual law. So why would I put myself under uh, 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 another law? You know what I mean? That it, it just it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? Like when I hear Christians say, "Well, if you don't vote for this individual, you're not a true believer, or you're not a real uh, right right uh, man or woman of God." You know what I'm saying? Like. I just don't get it, man, because this this isn't even our kingdom. Like this has right, come you know on. what I mean? So come on. That's just that's just how I feel. You know what I mean? Like right. you have the liberty to not vote. It's totally up to you. And I'm not telling anyone not to vote. You do as you choose. You mm -hmm. vote according to your conscience. You vote according to how the spirit is leading you or whatever you whatever it is that you feel. See, but somebody some people will argue it's like if I'm going to vote for Biden, oh, I don't know what spirit you're, you know, you being right. Led, everybody start you know? questioning everybody, right? Oh, you're not a exactly. real person. And same in reverse. And I feel like yeah. statements like that, it's just like, I don't think you should be saying stuff like that, you know? Maybe, like, maybe that's yeah. right. I mean, I, right. <laughs> I I think I'm right. Because, what you know, how are you just going <laughs> to throw out a blanket statement like that? Like, oh, if I vote for Biden and I'm not Christian enough, right. you know? Right. Yeah, that's, Come on. That's corny. I'm just saying right, that like that's, that's the that, fruit of your walk, right? Is your vote. Your vote is the fruit of your yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. What I'm right. saying is as the spirit leads in the sense of, you know, you prayed about it. I'm not it, talking to you. I'm not talking directly to you. So you have a good conscience. General. You have a good conscience about it. You know what Did I mean? you pray on it? Right. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that, that was you pray to not. You Lord saw his face? No. <laughs> did you pray in Jesus' name? Did you pray in Jesus' name? Or Father and Holy Spirit? Yeah, yeah. Was this Lord. there was hesitation there, yo. You ain't pray about yeah. it. Yeah, listen, I I understand. <laughs> I understand people's perspective. Did I what? When it comes to <laughs> answer the question, switch. What's the question? Answer the question. <laughs> who What's built the, question? the cages? Switch. Who built the cages? <laughs> and who did you pray to? Right. Alu <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, yo, it's like I don't I don't I don't know, man. Like when it comes to politics, maybe I shouldn't even touch on it cuz oh, honestly, you, I I've never I've yeah, never you can't wear yeah, you can't. yeah, either side you can. And you know, that used to be a phrase too like don't talk about politics with your friends, don't or talk religion. about politics on on the first date, don't talk about politics at church. And now is, everything is politics. Everything right. is intertwined with some kind of political. Yeah, you know, it's almost, and and it's like you got to draw a line. Like people just drawing a line. Like you either on this side or you're on that side. You can't even be in the middle. You can't be in right. the middle. Yo, but it's right, it's right. wild how like people who are in the middle can notice how both sides are so aggressive and polarizing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like because we we've experienced this from both sides, right? We've seen it from people yeah. on the left and people on the right. Like arguing, it, like they're acting like this is, you know, it's, it's it's always this is the election that counts. This is the election that's going to change everything. This right. is the election that, you know, if the other guy wins, it's the end of the world. You know what I mean? Zombie apocalypse. The sky is falling. <laughs> all yeah. You know what I mean? Like, was it, matter of fact, wasn't Lecrae said, Lynn Lecrae said, yeah, this is the most important election for black people. We need to go no, out. I'm like, I thought. I don't know. They came out in record numbers for Obama. Right. So now you're talking about we need to have record numbers. You know, I read a statement. It was actually interesting. It's talking about how how they're setting up the way the way the Democrats are speaking. I'm sure it's probably from somebody on the right side that said that. But that they're setting it up almost as if if they didn't win, right, that it'll fall on the black community. But because they keep pressuring the fact that that minorities need to go out and vote, vote, vote. But they keep mm. talking about how minorities need to show up. Right. But it was like they talking so much about it that if he lost that they can basically say it's because of the minorities didn't go vote. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. But I mean, but I, I have noticed how they keep saying 
y'all need to go vote. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, go to Beverly Hills and tell them to go vote. Yeah, the black <laughs> voters are like the, the highlight of this election. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if you're black, you gotta definitely vote. I mean, and they did that with it was Obama the same thing too. with Obama. Yeah, yeah they did, they did do that with Obama. But that yeah, was more that I was more so because though. he was the first that was like a right. historic I, event. I felt like they could do that because then because they could play on they could play on that vote if you know in the hood, like yo, you gotta get this black dude in. Right. Like so I felt like that I could I understood why. But right now, what, what are you doing for, for Joe? This is the most that I've seen minorities yeah. supporting Republicans in my life, in my my time. That's a good point. I, I never, I've yeah. never seen like minorities. I don't know if I, I paid mean, attention. Well, like yeah, that. right. I was about right. to ask That's, that. Were you? And yeah. Maybe because of social media, too, because everybody has yeah. pages. But they, you know, they going hard for Trump, like blacks for Trump, Latinos for Trump. So Is it me or the ones that have been kind of for him? Or the or corny. <laughs> you saying fifty cent is corny? Or who? I think he just did it though. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I don't know. You know, like how how can I call him? Oh, uh, I don't know. Watch your huh? words, brother. Watch <laughs> <laughs> your mouth, beloved. Yo, right. new merch <laughs> shop. That's not Christian.com. Right, Check it out. Use promo code TNC10. You know what I mean? To get ten percent off. Get your watch your mouth, beloved T-shirts. Get your um, last night Christian podcast T-shirts. All that good stuff. I don't know, like like a uh, um, who's dude the the like a Herman Cain type of dude. He's gone, bro. I mean, I know. I'm, <laughs> That's why you mentioned him because <laughs> he can't clap right. back. Yeah, <laughs> black Republicans. Wow, you uh, shooting at the dead, bro? Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I, who else? Who, who, you know another black Republican? Yeah, Jay Z and Nas. Damn, that that's dead. true. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Black Republican. Yo, money I saw I got somebody said in. that someone said that Jay was endorsing Trump. Yeah, I seen something like that. I doubt it. Not endorsing, but he was not voting. publicly. Me, I don't think publicly. he. Don't, I don't think he don't do it publicly. But no, 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 no not heard. publicly. But you notice he's not publicly endorsing yeah. Biden as he did Hillary. I saw. I saw. I saw a behind the scenes footage of Jay back in the day when he was on tour, and he was talking about. He was talking about voting, right? But he, but he didn't say he was a Republican. But he was saying how he didn't like how people wanted to tax him more money. They wanted to penalize him now that he's he's doing good for himself, and he's making. Oh money. yeah, he wanted to keep more of his money. I was like, this dude's so a Republican. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the way he was talking, I was like, this dude. A well, he said it in his rap. I'm black Republican right. money, I right. got coming in. Right. Can't, but I can't turn my back on the hood. I got yeah, love, love for them. them. Right. Bars. Yeah. So he just take uh, the money he saved as being a Republican and toss it back to the hood. Why Ooh, not? Win. win. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. But now nah, I, I did see that. I saw that he was voting Trump, but he's not. He's we got we got we, allegedly we gotta see some. I wouldn't be surprised. That. But allegedly. Jimmy, you had made a good point. Um in the in one of the chats, you were like, yo, these dudes could endorse whoever they want, but nobody knows when they get in that ballot box. Right. What what's gonna they, happen? In fact, y'all said that, and I was like, that's true. Nobody true. really knows. You could be out here like, especially when you got you're in the entertainment business where they pressure you and right. really like, oh, you got to be Democrat or you got to do this. If not, you're a sellout. You're this. Some dudes are probably right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they get in that ballot. Right. Yo, and I, I believe that because how many of these millionaire businesses um, want to want higher taxes? Now, right. we were talking about, now, we were talking about 400, you know, the little tax increase for 400,000. Right, but the the um the corporate tax is like fifty percent though. Yeah, who wants that? Who who wants that? Like, wh- I mean, what right-minded CEO? That's gangster, bro. That's mafia. Fifty wh- percent wants that. Yeah, that's paying for protection. Like, what? That, yeah, that's a Michael that's, Corleone type stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, bro. so who wants? So I wouldn't be surprised that they can say, you know. <laughs> They could say <laughs> Biden all day, but like you said, they get yeah, that's some Debo bro. type stuff, right? Fifty percent. What you got them off forty, dude? Fifty mm. percent. That's that's kind of od. 
Yeah, right. there, there once was a wild his pockets, man. man. But you know what, though? man that used to say taxation is stuff. Let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, but whatever. I mean, to each his own. Right. I'm broke, yeah, so listen, it, man. Listen, either a person gets in. I'm, Yo, listen, listen, man. I'm gonna still this, be broke. This, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, man. <laughs> like, if your family, if your family is voting for Biden and everybody around you is voting for Biden, just say you voted for Biden. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and when you get inside the booth, you do what you're gonna do anyway. You know what I mean? If your family's mm-hmm. voting for Trump, you know, just say you voted for Trump. And when you get in that booth, you know what I mean? Vote for whoever you're gonna vote for, man. Oh, don't say nothing at all. You right, don't say nothing. No, no, because they press you, man. They press you. They, they like, do. They my do. Sister, they press. Especially when they, 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 they pick up <laughs> on the way that you talk, too, right? Yeah, the things yeah, that yeah. you say. Like if you say, oh, I don't believe that we, you know, we should raise taxes. What you mean? Oh, yeah. What you mean? You hate oh, the you poor? You hate the yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you hate the elderly? Like, oh, man. Why you know, you put any kind of post that looks like you're defending the individual. Oh, oh that's it. You for that guy. Right. You, for the, you for him. Right. They, they looking for your red hat. Right, right, right. Yo. Like, yo, I work at Five Guys. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> yo the other day, my wife was like, you, go, you better go uh, vote for your man. I said, who my man? She said, uh, Trump. I said, how does my man? She's like, you always defending him. I said, because y'all wow. always, I said, because y'all always bashing them for the wrong thing. <laughs> like, if you're going to bash him, at least bash him on facts. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, my wife says up. the same thing. That's yeah. what going for Trump. They call me a Trump supporter at home. <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo hey, you never going to vote. Yo. Right. This is hilarious. Yeah. I'm not even registered, bro. I don't. I probably didn't even register the vote. Bro. This is hilarious, man. I'm I not even this. registered in my county. I love the world. <laughs> but, but yo, yeah, I was like, yo, if you're gonna talk bad about him, at least talk bad about him on the stuff that you should be like. Don't be listening to stuff on the internet and right. on NBC. Right, like all of that stuff. Nah, we like, always defend them on the racist stuff. You know what I mean? When they say that he's racist. That's it. And we go in on them though, right? Like mm-hmm. that's a thing. That's a crazy thing. It's like that people call us Trump supporters, and it's like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think the only one, Jay, you were you were you publicly a Trump supporter? Yes. Publicly? No, I don't think that's I've true. ever seen. Yeah, he was. Oh, but no, you not... were a tr- you were a Trump supporter though, right? I mean, I, I liked what he's done so far. Yeah, but, but am I gonna vote for him this time? No, I didn't no, vote you, for him. Yeah. yeah, you 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 share you share you share that. That's why I, I that's why I asked. But like, yeah, do 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 did people come at you because of that before? Like because you liked what he did. I it's mean, this when it came around. to when it came to family, um, I mean, we had discussions and whatever you know the news says, and I would just be like, you know, hey, that's not what he said, blah blah blah. But right, other than that, other than that, I never had anybody to be like, oh my gosh, you you supported Trump for this or you right. know start fights or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. yeah, you see, you see, and that's the issue. Like Trump has supporters, supporters, like like hardcore supporters. You know like, what I mean? I'm going it's not to just the rally with no you know, mass support. People are just voting for Biden because they don't like their other option, right? Right, that's and it. I disagree right. with that. that I don't want Trump, mentality. right? But mm-hmm. Trump has supporters, like dudes that will tell you, "Yeah, Trump did this for the community. He did that, and uh, this date, and they passed this law." Like they will break it down for you, and I respect them for that. You know what I mean? So, let me tell you, this is one of the reasons why I kind of don't want to vote, right? Because I feel like the other side, so the Democrats, they don't have. There's no real plan. The plan was just to get dude out. Right. You sound like a Trump supporter. I ain't no Trump supporter, <laughs> but this is what it. But this is the thing, right? Like, right. give me a plan. Give me like I want to see someone who's really trying to actually do something, and not make it about get Trump out. You know what I'm saying? Right. I would have liked to see that. Well, Biden, Biden now he has. Uh, I think he was more the, effective in the debate as well. The That's no nice. malarkey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I th- yeah, I, th- I thought he, I thought For- I actually liked what he said. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or what he was saying on some when he was answering his question. I liked it. I, I was, you know, I, I like that he was expressing himself and getting his message across. Now, I don't like that, you know what I'm saying, he avoided the questions, like a lot of the tough questions from Trump when he kind of pointed, you know, some things out. Like that, I didn't like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least if you throw that back at Trump, he was responding. You know what I mean? But Biden yeah. was just like, I ain't. 
Like he kind of know, like I ain't going down that hole. You know what I'm saying? Like he can get caught up in that. Yeah. I mean, so hey, it's pretty smart. And, and I want to clarify, son, because I know we were talking about this with AI. Um, you know, I, you know, when it comes to abortion, right? That's, I mean, I'm still like against that. You know what I mean? Like, even though I say, you know what, we live in a in a in a, in a society that's that's uh, you know, we have liberty, we have freedom, and right. We don't want to impose our freedom on everybody or our, our 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 religion or whatever. Um, you know, like to me, abortion is still murder. Like it's flat out yeah, murder. You know what right. I mean? Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, I I, I get because I was listening to the last episode and I'm like, all right, I don't want no one to think like, yo, I'm just trying to downplay abortion. Like, nah, abortion is straight up murder. Like I agree. You know what I mean? Like it's something that is horrific. You know what I mean? Mm. So I understand why. Um, you know, because I mean, if you look at the numbers, uh, Christians, 80 percent of Christians are supporting Trump. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, but it's still know, on the table for him, right? Well, what I've been reading and I was going back and forth with Jimmy. I don't know if he he had uh, done some some uh, more research. It seems like the Republicans really are trying to push for this abortion uh, thing to be illegal. Now, it's not really up to them. It's really up to the Supreme Court at the end of the day to overturn Roe v. Wade, which has been was, out since what, 1973 or something like right, that? Right, well, that was the whole It's been around for a long, barren. long time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what was going on before that? What mm. do you mean? Before Roe v. Wade. Hangers. Yeah. Hmm? They were they were doing it, they were doing, they're doing it illegally. Illegally. Yeah, yeah. illegal. Oh, okay, okay. So on the down low. Yeah. And then you know there's other there's other factors because I was reading also that the numbers actually go up on on Republican uh presidents right or like when the Trump. Republicans because um there's a lack of education on like sexual uh you know sexual education and there's a lack of you know so, because some of these programs are there to prevent pregnancy as well they're there to um kind of like you know educate you know the individuals or what what can happen you know what i'm saying so when they stop funding these kind of programs at times it can you know what i mean they kind of like uh what do you call that uh back um it like backfires in a way because right. mm -hmm. now right. these people aren't educated so they're just like i'm gonna just get abortion you know what i mean because right. they're not educated on sex they're not educated on any you know what i mean things like that well so. that's kind of one of the points that ai brought shout out to ai if you haven't listened to it episode 57 our last episode uh, she was Facts. our special guest. Had an amazing time with her, man. Um, but that's one of the things she said is like, you know, we should be pouring into these communities. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, because nothing changes with any of these presidents. You know what I mean? Like the hood mm -hmm. is the hood. You know? <laughs> like yep. we got to. That's what Carl was saying too. Yeah, exactly. We got to pour into these people. You know what I mean? Um, we got to share the gospel with them. We got to be that light in the darkness. Like, whoever's president isn't going, isn't really going to make a difference, you know what I'm saying, on what's going on in the street, man. You know what I mean? Like, right. I was, I was selling trees under Republican and Democratic presidents, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it made no his, difference, you know what I mean? Like, that's just sales. what it was. That's just what it was, you know? Yeah. Right. No matter who's in office. Well, I mean, it's, hey, if Biden wins, um... I just want to know when the police still shooting, who they going to blame. <laughs> right. That's a fact. I, I, I was going to stop. <laughs> right. I was saying about that. I was like, okay, Biden wins. Like, are people going to start to realize kind of the hypocrisy when it comes to the media and all this stuff? Or right. everybody's just going to be like, well, oh. you know what? We got Trump out of here. Whatever happens with Biden is whatever happens. Oh, is what the, I feel. Media, the media is not going to show it. Right, <laughs> the right. media won't report on it. Yeah, who knows? You know? 